<laughs> Jesus. We just start. I don't, that's the thing. Where do we start? What an unbelievable game from a neutral perspective for you. Yeah. How, how are you kind of feeling after it? Obviously, a 5 3 defeat today. <laughs> to be honest, obviously, as, a, as an attacking threat, we were pretty good. You know, we scored three goals at home. Um, I think as a group, defensively, <laughs> You know, we didn't show enough desire to stop them playing forwards. Mm. You know, you can argue that centre half tracking runners, centre field players tracking runners, but if we press the ball higher up the pitch and stop that supply, then we're already two thirds up the pitch where we can go and hurt them. And we didn't do that enough today. Yeah, it's um, it's a difficult contrast in styles and how both teams wanted to play. I thought you guys were were well in that game for long periods of it. What point do you feel we, it kind of turned in in their favour? Do you reckon? Probably just after half time when they got the, the, the next goal. I think it was important whoever got the next goal was going to go on and, and make something happen in the game. Um, I think their goalies made a really good save just into the second half. If we score that, then the game maybe becomes a little bit different. They maybe drop a bit deeper, um, then we can go and, go and play a bit higher. Um, but again, I, I said to the boys, like, I should be really disappointed, but to this point, they've been brilliant for us. Mm. So I'm not going to be too disappointed. We just need to realise that we haven't achieved anything and when we play we have to have that desire out of position to go and press teams yeah. and we haven't had that in the last two games yeah. you know, we haven't had that we tried changing personnel today which I, I felt was probably a little bit better going forwards um, but yeah def defensively as a group that is as a group not just the goalkeeper and, and, and the defenders as a group we were nowhere near it, nowhere near the, the levels of desire that we need to go and win football matches. You know, if, uh, this is probably going to sound bad, but you know, rocks from the top of the league and flying, and I never felt during the game that it was like, oh, these are these are going to cause us like, a lot of trouble, mm. which sounds ridiculous because they've ended up scoring scoring lots of goals against us. But you know, if we'd have done the defensive bit a little bit better, mm. you know, we carried a real real strong goal threat today, yeah. um, which which is the positive that I'm going to take from the game. Um, you know, and hopefully moving forward, we've got the Vars now, and then we've got another big one against Milner, which is always a tough game. Yeah. I mean, considering what happened here during the week, though, was that a good response? Were you happy with what you saw? as an attacking threat certainly again it was just a bit sloppy you know we, we, we set up to sit in and, and frustrate which we did um, but what we got wrong was the trigger as to when, when to press and when not to press you know and, and that was the big issue for us if, if we press at the right time to stop those forward passes and get people's heads down then yeah I'd have been pleased because we'd have ended up winning the game but you know it's always difficult the scoreline sometimes towards the end of a game doesn't reflect the game because you're searching for an equaliser uh, yeah. you're searching to get back into the game um, so you know they're, they're a very good football inside but again the majority of their goals have come from balls from deep into midfield runners yeah. um, which, which, is, which is very avoidable from our point of view yeah. I asked the same with Jordan I asked the same with you what do you, what, what do you reckon to your start of the season how have you kind of made your opening Opening games. I think if you'd have asked me a week ago, I'd have been saying it's brilliant, everything you could ask for. Um, I think now as a manager, I'm kind of second guessing where we are because um, we're either brilliant or the last week we've, we've not been great defensively. Um, but ultimately, I'd imagine after today's results, we're still top three or four. So it, it, it's a great start. Yeah. You know, the boys have, have produced some unbelievable football for us up to this point. They've been resilient uh, in away performances up to this point. I think it's our away form is probably better than our home form this season, which is something that, that we've never had. No. Our away form's usually terrible, but it's been brilliant. So you know, the boys the boys are doing uh, are doing all that we could ask. Um, but ultimately, we're at a point now where. I either let it rumble on for another two, three weeks and see where we are, or I have to make decisions and, and maybe adjust where we are. Yeah. Final one from me. What do you want to see from your boys next week in the Vars then? What's, what kind of reaction do you want to see? I think just a performance that, that shows a desire to want to go and win the football. We, we, every player at this level is a good footballer in possession. You know, what separates the really good teams and the not so good teams is their desire out of possession. So, you know, if we can show a bit more desire out of possession to go and win the ball back and stop other teams playing forward, then, you know, that's where we need to be. Brilliant. Brilliant for your time. Cheers, lad. Thanks, right. man. Thank you. If you have enjoyed today's video, remember to hit the thumbs up button, 
subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn the notification bell on so you are informed every time we release a video. If you would like to take that support one step further, you can do so by going over to ko-fi.com and making a one-off donation towards the channel, or you can go over to patreon.com and make a monthly donation towards the channel. Select the tier that you want and you can cancel it at any time. Links for all of this and much more, including our merchandise for the Suffolk Non-League show, are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, adios.